every lying tongue, every person that will carry those negative or advise people ill against us, let it be cancelled. Call to ministry you believe you have a call you believe god wants you to go to the next level we are having a brand new program mentorship program starting this month of june you do not want to miss it make sure you want to sign up on dr otismanning.com there's a contract there with all the information that you need i'm your personal mentor and i'm here to help you and to take you to the next level in god see you there we want to mentor people who believe they have a call of God on their life. And the fact that you are here means you are interested. Listen, let's go down, download the application form and the contract. See you later. Keys for Spiritual Warfare that has been released a few months now. Keys for Spiritual Warfare right here on Amazon. You can just look for um, uh, Keys for Spiritual War Warfare, a book from Dr. Odisman. Of course, you can go to my personal website, drodisman.com. You get an audio version only available on my website and also you can also get an uh, ebook on my website on amazon you can get a physical book or an ebook amen so you can go right there you can go to any one of my websites information will be on your screen you can also get it at kingston bookshop you can get it at all of our church branches and of course that all important number call that number and we'll be happy to give you some information how to get it and you'll be able to get your copies in fontana pharmacies island wide Hi, God bless you. This is your pastor, Reverend Dr. Otis Manning. Prayer wherever you are, you are doing well and you're enjoying the blessings of the Lord. The blessing that make rich and had no sorrow. Wherever you are joining us from, always a privilege and a pleasure to be here with you on this day. I'm mean, celebrating with you what God is doing. Indeed, it's our fifth year we've been having. God has given us five successful years, amen, as a ministry, um, incorporated doing. I mean, a work and a service, amen, to the nations of the world under this umbrella, under the GFM I umbrella. And we are grateful unto God. It's indeed our 50 year. And wherever you are coming in from, wherever you're watching from, and believe it or not, we've been on TV for more than five years. GFMI has been around for more than five years. But the church itself, amen, is five years old. As a matter of fact, God gave the vision to GFMI in 2000 and. 6 January, amen, on a New Year's Day. So it's been around for some time, registered for some time, but operating as an outreach ministry, but as a church God family ministry, we are officially doing five years in uh, as a church family. And you are part of that, and we are happy to have you, amen. And so this is indeed our special time, amen, and we are happy that you can be a part of it. There's as usual, our program will be running after. Amen. But if you want to be a part of what God is doing, if you want to, you know, celebrate with us, you're free to send me your testimonies. I'd love to hear from you. Please send me your testimonies. Information is going to be right there. Send me some testimonies of... Um, uh, via uh, our our email address that's going to be right there. Let me know what God has been doing. Tell me what has God been doing since you've been watching this program. Tell me the testimonies you've had, the word of prophecy, word of knowledge, whatever it is that impacted your life. I'd love to hear. Amen. And of course, also, you're free to send us a gift. If you're in USA or you are in um, America, there's going to be a number there that's for Cash App or Zelle. Uh-huh. And if you're in Jamaica or the Caribbean, there's going to be another number and some other information there. You can partner with us. You can celebrate in this our fifth year. Amen. Entering into the sixth, which is a number of man. You can be a part of what God is doing. And God is doing an awesome thing. And it's always a privilege and a pleasure to be serving you in this capacity. Always a blessing to hear the testimonies of the people. I literally just met a lady. And I told her, I'm meeting you for the first time. She said, I've been coming for two years. I didn't recognize her. And somebody said, yes, pastor. She was a skinnier woman. I barely recognized. Somebody said, pastor, this woman came here. She was mental. She was everything. I spoke to her. She said, I was suicidal. I was out of my, getting out my mind. Amen. I was skinny. And I'm looking at this woman. I don't even know her. 100% in her right mind. No issue at all. I said, I need your testimony. I didn't even recognize her. She's gotten body and, and everything else. And looking so beautiful. That's the power of God to restore people. The power of God to fix people's lives. 
and there are so many other people out there watching these programs who have a testimony and I don't know why they've never shared it. I'd love to hear your testimony. What has God done through this ministry for you in these years of being on TV? What has God done? I'd love to hear what God has done. So there's going to be an email once again, gfmikgn at gmail. I'd love to hear what God has done. And it's indeed our special anniversary. I'd love to know. Amen the goodness of God and what God is doing in your life. And um, we're having a wonderful time here. Anytime you're free, you're free to visit. We had folks today from West Milan, our Hanover, one of them parish. I don't even remember, I'm sorry. But you're free to visit whenever you want. Amen. Pay for a visit, 138 Red Hills Road. It goes to some information, 138 Red Hills Road. You're free to pay for a visit. And we also have a church in Montego Bay. Montego Bay. We do have a church in Montego Bay. Information is going to be on your screens. Amen. 680 Half Moon Street. That's behind Amen. The, the, the gas station down there in, in um, opposite Holiday Inn Village. Same place, really. Um, bes beside the Marcos Gas um, Supermarket. So we're there in Montego Bay. Of course, we're in Denby Clarendon. We are there. Listen, I know that God has a plan for your life. That's why you're watching. Even though you might be suicidal, though you might be sick, though you're struggling with some form of illness, you're struggling with something, God is still in charge. And doesn't matter what you are going through, God is able to bring you through it if he's brought you to it. And so whatever you are going through, amen, God is able to see you through. Faithful is he who have called you. And so as we are about to get into a program, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear more about you. I'd love to hear your testimony. Become a partner, and I'm listening to hear from you. Listen, a program is coming up. See you at the end of the broadcast. Bye-bye. Get me on the screen, Genesis 1, 26, then we're going to get to Genesis 2. Read 26 now. Verse 26. Uh-huh. And God said, uh -huh. let us make man in our image uh -huh. after our likeness. Uh -huh. And let them have dominion. All right, don't assume so you know what that means. And don't assume you know where I'm going. Let's go to Genesis 2 verse 7. Don't say, Pastor, yeah, I get it. Don't you don't get it yet. Let's pray a prayer now. Genesis 2 verse 7. Let's pray. So much Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. No. Let's try again. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Open my heart. Open my heart. Help, me Help me to receive your wisdom tonight. Jehovah God, take me to another level of faith in you. I receive tonight in Jesus name. Somebody say Jehovah God, anoint my servant. Anoint him for me in Jesus name. Come on if you believe that, go ahead and pull something, pull something, pull something. Good, 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 good. All right, let's go. Let's listen to Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. So years ago, the Lord showed me this one. I'm going to break this one. Then I'm going to go back somewhere else. So this one go help you to understand a little bit last night. Then I'm going to come out. All right, you soon get it. Let's go. 2, verse 7. Read. Genesis 2, verse 7. Uh -huh. Listen to the words. Don't think you know. Read. And the shh, Lord God. Shh, shh. First key. When you're reading the Bible, don't read it like you know it. You're not going to hear Block your mind of what you know. Have you ever read your own stuff or your own messages and think that everything is right? Send it to somebody and they tell you there's an error in it because you know it from what you know. Don't read the Bible like that. You're going to make mistakes. Everybody with us now? All right. Everybody with us now? Over. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, let's, let's go. Read now. And uh -huh. the Lord God uh -huh. formed man. Formed what? Man. Underline that. Uh huh. What did the Lord form? Man. What is it called? Man. What is it called at that time? Man. Talk to me, no man. man. What is it? What? Man. What is it? Man. What was it? Man. It was what? Man. man. Everybody seen that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody seen that? Yes, sir. What is it called? Man. It is called man. Everybody seen that? Yes, and God formed. Watch this now, read. Of the dust of the ground. What did God form from the dust? Man. What? Man. You're sure? Yes. You're sure? Yes. What did God form? Man. Man. Let's go now. Go. Of the dust of the ground. Read. And breathe into his nostrils. Da, 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 da. What did God form? Man. What did God form? Man. Can I ask you one question? Did the breathing of God into the nostrils of man make him more man? Absolutely not. So whatever God is about to blow in man has nothing to do with the man being a man. 
God give grace. All right, we're going somewhere. Whatever God is about to do is going to give the man something else that he never had when he was a man. Ah, da, 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 da. Lord, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. No, 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 don't shake my hand. What is he? Man. Eh? Man. What is he? Man. Eh? Man. man with a phone. Does this make him a man? No, what is he? Eh? Give me some money. Give me some money. Give me some money. Give me some money. Quickly. Good. A little money this, but all right. Go on. Come. What is this? Eh? Can he do more now? Can he do more now? What is that? Can he do less now? Can he do the same thing with these? No. What is he now? On and so now he's more equipped after I put something on his inside. Amen. Anybody get that? Are you with me so far? So first we had God breathe man. Thank you, Richard. Amen. Whose money is it? Oh, I'm sorry. I almost give away money. All right, thank you. I use Richie. So God, oh, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. God create man. Genesis one. Twenty. Genesis 2, 6, seven. 7. Go. Let's go. And the Lord God uh -huh. formed man yes. of the dust of the ground uh -huh. and breathed into his nostrils. And then God what? Breathed into uh -huh. his nostrils uh -huh. the breath of uh -huh. life. Uh -huh. So you realize the man already had nostrils. Yes. So if man have nostrils, no more blue him a blue already. Notice he already has nostrils. So God did not just create the nostril. But then God breathed into the man. And then man what? Became. That word is metamorphosized. He changed from one state to the next state. He became a what? Living. A living what? Slow. So now man is no longer a... Me hear it over there. So man is no longer, huh? But you are no, huh? No, make nobody deal with you like a man. Lord Jesus. I'm going to go somewhere tonight. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. That's why Psalm 86 says, I made you like God, but you will die like a man. You fall like one of the princes. If you don't recognize, and same thing I said to you last night, if you don't recognize who you are, or you don't recognize who God is, you will not know who you are. And so first thing you got to know, who is God? God is a living soul. Ooh. God is a spirit. He's a living soul. He's a living being. From where every soul comes. Ooh. The soul part of you is the God part of you. Every human has a spirit. Whether you be a sinner or you be a saint. That is the aspect of the being that God communicates to. The spirit of a man. The man receives God. He enters there. The body of a man is only a vessel. Satan and God need a body for one use and one use only. To work. Listen to me. Jesus Christ never died for your body. Your body, the Bible says, it is corruptible. And for the body to see God, the corruptible must put on incorruption. Anybody get that? And so God has no interest in your body. Your body is necessary because if you don't have a body, you are illegal on earth. That's why you have power over demons and devils. They don't have a body. So let me tell you something. I'm so let sorry me I had to, to cut your program. If but a few things I want you to know. Please remember, in support of our anniversary, you need to get your book, Keys for Spiritual Warfare. And this is what this person has to say about the book. Check it out. Praise God, praise God, praise God. I just want to testify of the goodness of Almighty God. 
I have a brother some months ago he was diagnosed with cancer of the stomach. He got a copy of the key for spiritual warfare and after he read the book and three failed attempts and surgery. One morning while brushing his teeth he started coughing and to his surprise up come the cancer. And I just want to say that today my brother is cancer free because of the key for spiritual warfare. Persons listening or watching, you too can be set free. Just get your own copy. Trust God because he can do the same for you. Trust him and just believe. Thank you, Jesus. Good. Now you see what they have to say. What do you have to say? Get your copy keys for spiritual warfare. Read it. Share it to your friend. I mean, I have somebody as a pastor. You know, I've lent this person, but I tell him, I want back my book. As soon as you finish, give him back my book. Listen, their lives been changed. Somebody sent me a message recently, and somebody says, to the, the, I, I think they gave it for a gift. The person says, this book is better than a million dollars. The best gift I could get. Thank you so much. They sent me the text that somebody sent them to them. Listen, this book has been transforming lives. And not only that, just make sure you get your copy of the book. Keys for Spiritual Warfare. That has been released a few months now. Keys for Spiritual Warfare. Right here on Amazon. You can just look for um, uh, Keys for Spiritual War Warfare. A book from Dr. Odisman. Of course, you can go to my personal website, drodisman.com. You get an audio version only available on my website. And also, you can also get an uh, ebook on my website. On Amazon, you can get a physical book or an ebook. Amen. So you can go right there. You can go to any one of my websites. Information will be on your screen. You can also get it at Kingston Bookshop. You can get it at all of our church branches. And of course, that all important number, call that number, and we'll be happy to give you some information how we get it. And you'll be able to get your copies in Fontana Pharmacies, Island Wide. But God has been using this ministry to change some lives. There are some testimonies I'd love for you to see of what God is doing. Let's check out some ministration at this time. Be back. If you are watching me wherever you are watching me from, receive fire for your deliverance. 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 Receive fire wherever you are watching from. Receive fire. What God is doing for these breaking yokes, may God do it. There is about 40 people. Receive it now. You will not stop her. She's a great one. Let her go. Let her go. Get out of her life. Your child will go places. This one. She has a great spirit on her. But spirits want to attack her. I want you, as the Lord will show. I don't, what you do? Are you working now? Your cousin? The, go and listen to me. It might be a step. Listen to this man. Go and look, what kind of business can I do? Start. What did I say? Start. Eh? Start. Go and what? Start. Eh? Start. Start. If it's one and two, start. One and two. I declare what your family have not had. What your family didn't get. Someone of the family, one of the family names, I don't know if you know, it has something to do with like either like prosperity or something to do with you know like green or something like I don't know if I can say this thing to you good so you can understand eh? how do I say this Lord give me oh Lord how do I say it 
what are you, I'm talking real name I'm not talking spirit one of your family name one of the names in the family has to do with like prosperity or green like the name itself just example like ever grow make sense there is some such name in the family do you understand what I'm saying no you don't understand what I'm saying uh -huh. and what has been happening is what has not flowed down mark my word it is about to flow for you good I declare what has been stored up let it be released to you I speak restoration you will know something called pounds do you know what I'm talking about I'm not talking about pounds on your body you don't want no more pounds there I'm talking pounds in your wallet you will know what called pound I don't know if there is anybody in England but I'm telling you what I know you will know what is called pounds and I'm not talking body pounds business let her go think from the sea queen get out I break every covenant I break them covenant I break every covenant Hi, God bless you. Welcome, 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 welcome back. All right, so I pray you saw all the excitement and you've been blessed by all you've seen and what God is indeed doing. Every week we're here and it's always a pleasure, always a privilege to be here and to see what God has been doing and see what God is doing in your life, to hear the many testimonies and to see the faces being, you know, um, lit up with a radiant smile and God giving somebody a miracle. And that's why we are here. It's our sixth year we are entering into. We're celebrating five year anniversary of the second week of July. So we literally just celebrated our fifth year anniversary. And now we're moving into the sixth. And we are so grateful for the many lives that have been impacted. The many stories that have been written. And the many souls that have come to know God. We've literally seen God literally save and transform hundreds of souls hundreds of souls and we're so grateful that we can see so many lives impacted amen I've, i'm so grateful unto god for the hundreds of souls that have been impacted by this ministry and your support is very important your support is a part of why amen that helps us to continue the work your support amen no matter how small or how large it is your support is a valuable part of what God is doing. And so I ask you, keep being a partner. Keep being a member of this. Keep being a part of this, what God is doing. And I look forward to hearing more from you. Amen. Make sure you email me. Follow up with me. I want to know what's happening on your street. We be family, right? We be family. We cool, we cool like that, right? All right, good, 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 good. Yeah. Some of you didn't answer, but some of you answered. Thumbs up to the ones who answer. No, you're a child. We'll be family, right? <laughs> we'll be family. You're part of God's family. It's always a pleasure to serve you. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Of course, we're having a wonderful time. You can visit us one Sunday, one Thursday um, in Clarendon or one Tuesday in Kingston for fasting. You can visit us, amen, on Wednesday in Montego Bay for fasting in the evening at 5.30 p.m. for prayer any one of the branches, and God has been doing a wonderful job, and see what God is doing. Amen. The ministry flows, amen, in the supernatural, and I believe wherever you visit, God will give you a supernatural transference. I pray for Timothy, wherever Timothy is watching from, that God will give you a transfer of his supernatural testimony, and I pray for Everton, that God will do something for you. Father, thank you for every person watching, wherever they're watching from. I thank you, God, that you're supernaturally able to help somebody that is believing. Somebody, car is your name. I pray God will open up a door for you. Amen. And that God will remember you. Everton, you look like you had some incidents of fighting recently. I pray that God will break the yokes from you and set you free. I pray for every person, wherever you're watching from, may God give you a new testimony. Dorothy, you believe in God concerning that summer housing. Uh, may God give you a testimony. Somebody, I'm um, just struggling with some issues in the chest area may God give you a healing and somebody watching this at this time you'll be watching you'll be in West in the hospital of the West Indies I pray healing to your body and I pray may God heal you somebody with an issue like some strains in the neck I release healing to you that God will grant you a supernatural healing 
bet bet say i pray for you that god will give you strength and may god's grace be with you and for you father i pray for tyrone may your hand be over him for good and may your strength be there is dorothy i cancel the plan of satan lord bless your people this week i release supernatural overflow and supernatural increase i bless your people and i speak life in jesus name amen and amen listen I want to invite you, make sure you follow me on Facebook or one of our pages got act. So um, it's a new page on Facebook and on YouTube, God Family Network. Make sure you find me, God Family Network. I'm going to make sure I put it here. So my editor is going to put it there, God Family Network. Find me on Facebook and YouTube. Every Monday I do a program, meet him today. You make sure you want to join that and see what God is doing. Every Sunday night, I pray for people one-on-one. -on -one. Let me say it again. Every Sunday night, I pray for people live online every Sunday night. Make sure you follow me on Sunday night. I've not been doing this, and I'm going to be pushing this far more. Make sure you join me. God Family Network, or look for me, Otis Manning. All right? My other pages have been hacked, so you got to find me. God Family Network, or Otis Manning. Every Sunday night, I pray live for you. I give you a number. You call the numbers, and I pray for you live and direct. So you don't have to necessarily write me a letter, a letter. I'll pray for you live. Make sure you get the number, and I'll be on praying for you on Sundays. And I'm looking forward to praying for you on the Sunday live. Me, personally. Amen. And I'll be there. Of course, you can always get our prayer line numbers. Prayer line numbers are going to be here. Go and get some prayer line numbers. You can always call for prayer. Amen. But if you want a live prayer, join me online. Every Sunday night, I'm there, and every Monday for meeting today, and other times, I'll be having some night prayer coming up soon, but you have to join me. DrOdisManning.com is my personal website. You can also follow me there, DrOdisManning.com. Listen, and I do apologize, and just in case you're not saved, how about giving your heart to Jesus? I'd love to pray with you. There's going to be a number here, 876-899-2700. You're not saved, or you want to give your life to Jesus, and there's going to be another number. Check it out right there. It's going to be another number. I'd love to pray with you. You're not saved. I think it's time that you give your life to Jesus. Amen. I'd love to talk to you and pray with you that you find Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And so I pray for you who are not saved. May God bring you to the truth of his person in Jesus' name. Amen. I appreciate you. Love you. And I'll see you next week. Same program. Peace. See you then. Later. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Divine Encounter. Join us again next week. Same place, same time.